Saint Francis of Assisi, born on 1181 or 1182 in Assisi in Italy, died on 3rd October 1226 in Assisi or Italy. Saint Francis of Assisi said, start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible. Francis of Assisi, born Giovanni di Pietro de Bernardone, venerated as Saint Francis of Assisi, also known in his ministry as Francesco, was an Italian Catholic friar, deacon, philosopher, mystic, and preacher. He founded the men's order of friars minor, the women's order of Saint Clare, the third order of Saint Francis, and the custody of the Holy Land. Francis is one of the most venerated religious figures in Christianity. Saint Francis, as he said, start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible. Very, very, very gospel of truth, a very holy word, which came out from the person who's deeply, in, intimately in love with the subject, with the nature, with the people, with the God. Yes. A truth uttered so powerfully, so powerful that, as Mahatma Gandhi said, I can shake the world with a gentle touch. Yes, he said, you can roar like a thousand men warrior. Yes, this simple path of Saint Francis, if anybody can do it, he has guided you so so beautifully. So simple, he said, start by doing. You do not have to start, the vehicle starts of its own. You have to get up, otherwise you are called a morning you get up. By doing what's necessary, you do not have, nobody forces you. The body forces you to go to the restroom. But here what we do is a fixed routine which every parent, every grandfather, grandmother, every society teaches the children. The only thing I'm asking you to add is, and this becomes a habit, here in Rakumji Ashram or in Rakum schools, all our students, as they get up, they apply the first saliva into the eyes as they get up, without even brushing I'm talking, eyes, saliva into the eyes. Because we believe that sleep of six hours, eight hours, or nine hours of sleep, the body creates a medicine called saliva. And this saliva is medicinal. If you apply it into eyes, eye infection will not come, eye power increases. And the same saliva, before you brush up, you have to run your hand to find out where you kept your bottle of water in room temperature, not in air-conditioned rooms and immediately drink that whole one bottle. It can be a half a liter or one liter according to your capacity. Even you can start with even half a glass, but the drink is very important. But here we drink five glass, that one liter of water. They don't swallow, they chew, so that you have a deep intimate relationship with the water. And when you chew it in your mouth, mechanical digestion happens and the saliva mixes water and goes into the stomach, it starts the first function, medicine functioning. That saliva is medicinal, your medicine, not anybody's medicine. And then you go to your wash basin to brush your teeth. That's what, start by doing what's necessary, St. Francis said. What is, this is the first and necessary. You brush your teeth and use your fingers to press your gums. Yes, press your gums. And then you rinse your mouth 18 times, 1, 8, 18 times. When you rinse your mouth 18 times, rinse your mouth, you spit it out, spit it out with power. Rinse your mouth 18 times. That helps you to avoid dental problems, mouth smell, cold, cough, fever. 
It improves eye power, the hearing power, your thinking power, the brain starts also moving. It's such a powerful, effective treatment process. Just a follow-up. Start by doing what is necessary. Once you finish that, you come back and you take the yoga mudra. You blow out your nostril 30 times. Start with two times, 30 times. So any blockade in the nose opens up for you to start breathing because when your breath stops, you die. Start by doing what is necessary and then you keep your right hand on stomach and then pump up. Stomach pumping so all the carbon dates gets pushed out. Fresh oxygen goes in. You are rejuvenated. You are starting your wake. Yes. And then you are possible to do anuloma with no viloma in here. One, retention. Four, Exhale two, then you go repetition after repetition. And then you find out God has given this beautiful body. So you do your eyeball exercise, yes. And then you find out what is the joints. It is the neck, the shoulder joint, shoulder exercise, the wrist, the finger opening, the spinal twist, the hip rotation, the knee, everything can do one. Then one goes to add zero, 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 multiply. Start by doing what is necessary and then your day starts. If you look at the sunlight, if you get an opportunity to look at sunlight, you can do the India Surya Namaskar or 12 steps to stretch your body, to open the whole body towards the sunrise. So the sunrise enters into the body and kills all the cancer cells and makes the body flowing. You can avoid the diseases. This much if you do it and teach the children what is necessary and leave them as long as they go any part of the world they are healthy so powerful it is yes start by doing what is necessary then do what is possible then do what is possible this is a necessary thing and then do what is possible if you can go to the holy book and start reading the holy book if you are a christian a bible a hindu bhagavad gita and a muslim you can read the quran read Read with conscious state, one page, 200 pages. Then do what is possible. And then find out whether you can rush up to the kitchen to give a helping hand or you can wash your own clothes, iron it up, and then you come out, come out, come out. That is what is possible. Go to the nearest park. If you have a land, you walk into the land, you talk to the trees, to the birds. And that, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. You can see the world is opening so vast. Yes, every one drop of water, when you see the rainwater, you start going deeper and deeper. Then once you start doing, you can see, then do what is possible. Once you start doing what is possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible in the sense, when, when you start doing, you see your children start doing. Then when you start doing, the children start doing. Then you see your relatives start doing. When they found it is more medicinal, then you can see the whole world, the impossible is happening. Everybody start doing. When everybody is doing, you see it's healthy. A gentle touch, you move the world. Yes, that is simple. But to do it, but on a fixed routine, Without breaking the routine, if you break it, make sure that the very next day you continue to do it. St. Francis of Assisi, start by doing what is necessary, then do what is possible. And suddenly you're doing the impossible. Suddenly you saw, you started growing a small plant, you fell in love with the plant, and the plant became a tree, and the fruits came, and the fruits start falling down and grow, start growing new, new uh, plants. And then you see your garden full of trees and what you can eat, your family can eat and excess you start selling or start distributing what is impossible happened. What a powerful statement. So philosophical, so loving, but very, very close to God also. Yes, as you start Penetrating deeper and deeper, you fall in love with your body because you start doing the exercise. When your body becomes very 
it's small thing suddenly what do you find more necessary you starting 10 exercise to 30 exercise to 1000 exercise in walking first started with one kilometer then 100 kilometers big weights when you start reading one page you become 100 pages become so easy then when you look at the people one person you look you look at 10000 people also the same you can read them and they start loving you when you start loving them you can see the whole world loving you and then you find the power of God. Giovanni di Pietro de Bernardo, known as St. Francis of Assisi, said, start by doing what's necessary. Then do what's possible. Second step, necessary, possible, impossible. And suddenly you're doing the impossible. This is my 199th short discourse.